This is Wiefelten in Baden-Württemberg, a rather curious town of little more than 2,000 people based around its former monastery and monastery church. It was first mentioned in a document by King Ludwig IV on the 15th of June 904. The Benedictine monastery was founded in 1089 and as you can see it received considerable financial assistance from wealthy people. In 1750, the Benedictine monastery was raised to a fully confirmed imperial abbey and by this time the property of the Zwiefalten monastery now included 14 towns. In 1803, together with other monasteries, it was dissolved. In 1812, the Royal Württemberg Medical Institution was established in the monastery buildings. The present buildings that we can see today were constructed in German Baroque style from 1739 to 1747 under the direction of Johann Michael Fischer of Munich. He became the overseer of the work in 1741 when he was 49 years old. The interior, considered a model of Baroque design, is filled with ornate chapels and gilded balustrades dominated by the high altar which combines a gothic statue of the Virgin Mary dating from 1430 with Baroque additions dating from about 1750 by Johann Josef Christian. The elaborate frescoes are by Franz Josef Spiegler. As part of the National Socialist Euthanasia Killings of Action T4, the Zwiefalten State Medical and Nursing Home became an interim storage facility for the Grafenegg Chateau where people were being killed. This started operating in January 1940. At least 1,673 mentally ill people marked for murder passed through here before being taken away. Most of these people were taken to Grafenegg. The grey buses of the Gemeinnützigen Kranker Transport GmbH, also known as Gekrat, a non-profit making foundation for transporting sick people, were a constant image in the town at this time. On the 2nd of April 1940, the first transport with 50 women left Zwiefalten. Following complaints to the Nazi authorities, murders stopped taking place in Grafenegg, but the killings continued in Zwiefalten, although not by gas, but with a syringe filled with morphine or trional. In 1949, Marta Fauser, who was director from 1940 to 1945, was sentenced to only one year and six months in prison for manslaughter. Today, the Centre for Psychiatry at the Sri Falton Cathedral Clinic is located in the former monastery complex. Despite this black period of its history, as you can see, it's a very attractive place to visit. I left my motorhome outside the monastery complex area and was able to have a walk around. I think that this is a sort of place that's definitely worth a few hours to spend visiting.